Hey, what's going on everyone? How are you guys doing today? It's No here, and welcome back to another Sneak 2 video. In today's video, we're actually going to be playing with a weapon in the Crucible that, for some reason, I've been kind of ignoring. Even though I had for quite a while, it's actually kind of a rare weapon to get right now. The weapon you can only get from the dungeon, the Premonition. This one is a high impact pulse rifle, so it's very similar to the Redrix. And the Redrix is really the only one that really comes to mind. Maybe just because that's the top of the pulse rifles, the high impact pulse rifles. So this is the role that we actually managed to get on this weapon. Hammer Forge Rifling for more range. Fred Magwell for more stability and more reload speed. Under Pressure for more stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. And Kill Clip which is gonna just increase our damage after we get a kill and reload. And Kill Clip just makes this thing amazing. But, you know, Kill Clip usually makes weapons pretty amazing. And this was no exception. It takes our weapon damage from 34 to 45 per headshot. Yes, 45. So two worst team people, it's not something that's too rare when you got kill clip on. And then we have a counterbalance dog. So why a counterbalance dog if you have all this stability? Well, if you slap on a counterbalance dog, it actually makes the recoil direction 100%. So the only recoil that we have to deal with on the weapon is actually vertical recoil. It won't go side to side, it will just go straight up. So it's very easy to control. That's why we have the counterbalance mod. But I think that's enough of me talking about the weapon. So now we're actually going to take this baby into the crucible. And let's see what we can do with it. It is lost. The battle is still close. Oh, those beautiful, beautiful headshots. I probably shouldn't be picking those up. But who plays the objective anyways? You're in the uh, are they coming this way? Or are they coming that way? I think they're coming this way. Yeah, they're coming this way for sure. Are they? Damn. Make up your mind, enemy team. Oh, look at these headshots. This guy's done. If I can actually hit him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Once they get a little bit too close, uh, I kind of struggle with these types of weapons. That's why I have the shotgun with me. So I can do this. And then this too. Now you're fighting with okay, I'm out. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't run away. I was hoping I was gonna win. What? Nah, that's Thunder Coil. No doubt about that. Man, I have like the the most love hate relationship with Thunder Coil. I love it, but I also really, really hate it. <laughs> really, really hate Thunder Coil, man. Especially with Synthoseps. It is just ridiculous with Synthoseps. Now well, they're coming from this side. Man, gotta love those A shots. Really, really puts a smile on my face when I hit a couple of those. Was that somebody? Are they coming this way? Yeah, they're coming this way. Oh, the kill clip! Oh no! Oh no, he's right there. I thought he was gonna try to rush me. And I missed him! Let's see if we can get these guys. Oh, we barely got him. He was gonna go behind cover. That guy had a. Uh, so heavy, I think. Yeah, I wasn't gonna beat the guy with the, the mind benders right in front of me. <laughs> Even with my shotgun, my shotgun is more of a more of a closer range shotgun. I can uh, I can outrange something like mind benders. No way. All right, we got this guy. Let's see if we can actually take care of the heavy. Oh no! <laughs> I was hoping I was gonna be able to get him, but I started missing. And yeah. He actually managed to body shot me with that thing. Oh my god. Oh no. That that's really scary. I do not wanna mess with that. Alright, let's reload, get it again. Oh he ran. No, he's still here. One off 
after another. All right, nice, nice, nice. We're slowly getting some more points. At the beginning, the team wasn't doing so great. You know, oh, Lobos, we're not doing that great, but we're, we're bringing it back. Oh, boy. Is he coming this way? Yeah. Oh, it's two of them. Let's throw a nade over there. With some support. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's three, three hand cannons. We are not going to survive that. We got a kill clip. We got a burning mole moving up on them as well. Okay, so we got a couple. We got them out of here. From the middle as well. Which is good. Oh no. That shut them down. Alright. Not gonna beat that guy, he'll just body shot me again. Nope! <laughs> that was close though. Oh, that's a lot of people. Now this is what I've been waiting for. A map like this one, where I can stretch my wings and fly. And hopefully not get sniped out of the air. But regardless, yeah, this is kind of a good map for this. Oh my god, it's up when there's bows. <laughs> Oh no, not the bows! Yeah, the bows are probably the bows and the snipers are probably gonna give you the most trouble. Especially some super high damage bows like the one this man has. The wish ender? Oh for sure. Nice! That looked like a two tap. Well a two burst, not a two tap. But I'm not quite sure if it actually was. Throw a nade down there. Maybe you can get a head marker or something. Let's get that second guy. Now you're fighting with heart, guys. Oh my god. Thank you, teammate. <laughs> oh no. That was close. That was real close. Thankfully my teammate actually met them though. Time to pull out the shoddy here. And you shoddy these guys. Cause I'm that guy with the with the shock and the widow's court now. Let's throw a nade at that guy. This is to pull out the shotgun here. And just miss him. And that guy didn't die, huh? I guess that's the downside of having like a low impact shotgun. Well, low-ish impact shotgun. It's not even like a low impact, but it's a low-ish impact shotgun. Oh, so close. <laughs> so close. I don't think all the actual, like, shots actually hit on the burst. If they would have, I think I would have been able to, like, one minute. Let's grab this, baby. And let's grab the most OP weapon in the game. Look at this. Okay, okay, I, I, well, I was supposed to hit him with the hit fire, but it definitely didn't work out that way. You know, this thing, this pulse rifle is actually not that bad. It actually puts in some pretty nice work. Would I take it over something like the Red Rix? Probably not. I really love the Red Rix. I think that the perk is really what makes it shine and makes it you so much better. So probably I wouldn't take it over the Red Rix, but if you like the lower the fire, pulse rifles, you'll probably like this one. But anyways, with that, we're going to end today's video, guys. Hopefully, all of you guys have enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. This is like if you didn't subscribe to each other in case you guys haven't already. And I'll see you all in my next one. Take care, everyone.